Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean, and we're going to do a response video. I wanted to say I would like uh, people to go check this guy's videos out. He's good. I do not know how to pronounce his name correctly. It's M-T-G Lion, L-I-O-N, and I'm thinking it's uh, Michelin. I don't know how to it, it may be a foreign language. I don't know, but it's M.T. Julian. So that's what I think. M.T. Julian. My Julian. But anyway, the videos I was making before, I was telling people, when you're selling sports cards, because I've been seeing a lot of channels popping up, how to sell your sports cards. These dudes are up to three, 400 subscribers. They're telling bad business. They're t like, like I was saying, you're going to take cards like this and stuff, they're case hits, and then you would sell them on eBay, start the bid off at like $10, and then, you know, because these are expensive, some of them, if this, this was LeBron, it'd probably be like 150 bucks. it's a case hit, it's a special silver refractor, and, the, and also this is a Hall of Fame player, and the card's mint condition, but what I'm saying is, you, any place you sell stuff, <clears throat> uh, any place, Facebook, uh, Instagram, wherever um, you're selling stuff and you're having money put into a uh, cash app or or PayPal or eBay taking care of your affairs. Um, one, you have to take in consideration, I've been saying this, you're going to pay at least 30% of your sales and maybe 20% at the lowest. Uh, you have to take that in consideration. I ran into this guy yesterday. I was checking out these grifter channels and uh, I call them out. I don't care. I have a freedom of speech. I think they're grifting people. They know exactly what they're doing. They're showing you certain players and certain cards because they have shit tons of them. Because like I was showing you, when you open up boxes and boxes of tops and Bowman, you're going to have shit tons of commons and you're going to hit a lot of rookies and um, on a different subject. I do like that. The 2021 uh, Bowman uh, football. It looks pretty cool. But... What I'm saying is you have to – these are the things to do. You have a business. I don't care what you're saying, a side hustle, whatever. Uh, Jojo Magoo is going to come after you uh, for tax money. And this guy's going to explain it. He's an attorney, and he's funny. And I think, you know, it's, you're going to learn something, and it's a response video. And as I said, I would go subscribe to him. And also, uh, Vaccinated Fatso is a good channel to go to. And uh, obviously, my man, Lion – uh, tribes of lion, lion are good, but um, you know, there's so many different things going on in the world, and people are trying to get an easy way to make a living, and I get it, it's cool, I mean, hell, but when you have your children, 12, 13-year-old kids, going to card shows with twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in cash in their pocket, and half a million dollars in cards, uh, in environments, or do you think that's, like, that's, I think you should be arrested, to be honest, if you're a parent and you're letting your kid do that by themselves, you're going to get your kid murdered. There is a recession coming on. Even before a recession, doesn't matter. You try that shit in Philadelphia, PA, where I was born and, and, and I lived there for a while when I was a little kid, in South Philly. <clears throat> I wouldn't bet you wouldn't get a city block without being mugged for that money and the cars and the bags and the shoes and everything you have on your feet and every, everything. So, those kind of people go to card shows, and they, they're professional uh, scam people, and they fuck people up and get their shit. So, this dude's talking about this. Let me um, get to this video. I got a laptop, everybody. I told you I'd save up and get one. I got one for 100 bucks. This thing was $99. It's a Dell, and I'm learning. But, I like this guy. He's a millionaire, dude. And um, he, he's going to fucking, you know, put it straight. I, we're going to watch the video, and we're going to do a response. You know, what, you, what do you think about it? You know what I mean? So you go to any retail outlet, or you go to a mall. I think a mall is a good example. And let's say you go to a mall, you go to build a bear, you build a bear, and they give you a receipt. Um, maybe you give the bear a hat. It's now the receipt has two itemized uh, lines. And even if you don't really know what they mean, you can kind of figure it out uh, because they try to be as clear as possible. But then you can also call Build-A-Bear if the IRS could call Build-A-Bear and ask, hey, what does this mean? And they could call, oh, that's the hat, right? So not only do stores give you a receipt in the mall, they give you an itemized receipt for every item that you bought with the exact price. Now, 
Okay, um, this is a good point here. See, when you use eBay, you're, you, you can send the receipt, you can print the receipt out on your computer um, uh, for the customer. And also, uh, eBay has a record, you know, record. So what I do, and remember I was showing you, is I get a journal and I write down everything that I purchased and everything I sold on this journal. And then, you know, I just keep doing that. And then I have an inventory. And then as I was showing you when I was going through my cards, how we're listing them. Well, when, as you're going through them, you just start writing them in here too. You want to have an inventory of everything. And I, you know, I have an inventory of some of this stuff, but I've got new stuff and got rid of old stuff. So I haven't been feeling that well because I need neck surgery. But I'm going through this stuff. As you see, I'm showing you some of my collections I've gotten over the years. And I don't want you guys to get in trouble, man, because you're going to have to pay taxes on everything. It doesn't matter. If you put $700 in the bank, you already triggered the system to where they're going to they can audit you. Okay, so have a receipt for everything like this guy's saying. He's 100% right about this stuff this dude owns a business you know he's telling you for free dude in any time and i'm of course gonna put my two cents in because it's my channel and uh we have fun with it now uh, let's talk about a convention a collector con or a dallas sports con where a lot of cash you got like 11 year old kids with their zion case right which is always heavily promoted uh, by content creators, and they have probably a hundred thousand dollars in cards and maybe fifteen thousand dollars in cash, and they're little, and they're not the little kid, they're big case. Dude, did you hear what this guy just said? There's eleven year old kids out there with tens of thousands of dollars in cash on them and a half a million dollars in cards. Now you're a parent, okay, dude? Okay, let me put it this way: Joshua just turned fourteen, right? And I won't even let this kid walk down the street without me going down the street to Circle K or whatever with him, you know? Um, I won't tell him, hey, you're too little for you to be walking down here at nighttime or whatever to go get a snack or whatever. I'll just say, hey, I'll go with you, you know? Now, your child is out amongst criminals, grifters, the biggest grifters in the hobby. Uh, they're they're professionals. One, I don't know any state that where it's legal for a child to do any kind of business like that. That you're a minor, you can't even work in the state of Florida until you're like 14 years old, and that's like and and believe me, this is how strict it is. When you have a 14 year old person working for you, uh, I believe every two hours, like you can work, they can only work four hours, okay, uh, four hours at a shift. They can't work any more than that here. Um, they have to special permission. I don't even think you can get special permission in Florida. So you have four hours, and in that four hours, this, those kids get a half an hour break. Okay? So every two hours, they get a 15-minute break, and then another two hours, they go home pretty much, but they can, um, you, you would give them a break in between that. That's the law. Now you have, uh, that's 14-year-old kids. You have 11-year-old children walking around with tens of thousands of dollars because of grifters like... Uh, this fucking Jeff Wilson and he's Neo guy. Neo's actually getting better. He's actually going and saying, hey, watch out if you got trim cards because it's on cardboard connection that there's uh, mad trim cards going on with this contenders football modern shit. And PSA graded it and supposedly Beckett. We're not going to say Beckett yet because the fact of the matter, that's hearsay. But there is undisputable evidence that those cards are trimmed. So, not only do you have trimming going on in PSA, you have little kids going to conventions uh, with thousands of dollars grifting because they're learning how to grift. I've run into little kids that try to grift me out of my shit. And I'm like, look, first of all, you're a little kid. I ain't doing business with no little kid. Uh, you know, you're not buying thousands of dollars worth of shit off me. Where's your mother? Where's your father? I don't do business with children. Okay? I'm not a child. I'm a 50-year-old grown-ass man. And the only way a fucking 50-year-old grown-ass man, and these guys are my age, uh, would do business with a child at that level is to take a fucking advantage of them. Okay? You're gonna, you're not, you're not smart, these kids. They're not that fucking bright, okay? Unfortunately, we got big problems in the future because our general, these little kids need to learn more. They got no common sense. It's a fucking horror show, okay? I deal with it on a daily. Um, Joshua has his friends come over and I hear the shit they say, 
and it's the fucking craziest stuff. And I'm like, don't you little kids get on bicycles during the day and go out there and play basketball and run around and do stuff on a bicycle for a little while, you know what I mean? Holy mackerel. Which is a safe area, you know? I'm not saying stuff like that. These parents are the fucking worst people on the planet, dude. I would never, at first, I'd be like, where the hell did you get this money? <laughs> oh, I was doing this, this, and that. Okay, that's very nice. Now we got to get all whatever you just made. We got to, you know, you got a business now. And you're not, it's this ain't even legal. So the parents are technically held responsible for any kind of transactions that may go down with this kid. What if he sells a fake card, like this fella's saying? And he ain't got no business or nothing. They're going to sue him directly, not him, his parents. None of these big people will ever tell you this, and I'm keeping it real with you, man. Is that little kid really? I really don't even have to take the time to do this. But when I'm watching videos and I'm watching people getting grifted out of $1,500 worth of shit uh, for fucking $300, or I watch a guy drop $1,500 on a collection when one card itself is worth $3,000, okay, and he just got the guy's stuff for fucking free, this is the kind of shit's going on. These people don't know what the hell they're doing, or they're so they're selling stolen shit, and this is why they don't have receipts for anything. He's doing his taxes. It's all like, is there parents like he's going around trading and dealing and wheeling? Wait, right, wait. Right. I think this is the lifestyle that a lot of these content creators want you to believe, because like, it's really easy to make money if you don't have to pay taxes, and it's a huge competitive advantage. Like, if I'm paying thirty-seven percent tax, which is a high end of the tax bracket. Or 35%. There's the dog. I'm I like the dog. At a huge competitive disadvantage in here. So, no, that's individual tax. Of course, business tax is a little different, but it's really not. If you have Ella, if you have a partnership and you have a K1, the K1 reports to earn earning, it just adds up. So, again, it depends on the legal structure of your business, of course, but I'm assuming it's pass through income. So, based on your K1, if you own 50% of the company, then it's 50% of your profit, and then that's what you count as taxable uh, income for your personal taxes as well. Hmm. So uh, I, I think that's probably the most common structure, unless you're looking at corporations. There's probably the most common structure for taxes for LLCs. But my, my point is, when you go to a convention, I don't know how many of these people are paying taxes. And it absolutely is. Don't get me wrong about this. It is a competitive advantage if they pay if they don't pay taxes and I'm paying taxes. I don't know how many of them even have a separate EIN, which is not their personal social security. I okay, this is a hundred percent truth bombs. This guy's dropping hundred percent truth bombs. The video is like thirteen minutes long, thirteen twenty two or something like that. But throughout the video, he's recanting these same sentiments. And what I'm saying is, I'm not the only person telling you that this fucked up. These people are doing bad business. And as he says, uh, how the hell can you compete with people that aren't paying taxes? The fact of the matter is, we all know, in, as, as we are not corporate entities, okay? Your mother and father, when you were born, didn't put Mr. or Mrs. on the birth certificate. My name is Sean Michael Sweeney. That's what they put my name down. And uh, they didn't put Mr. Sweeney or anything like that because I'm not a corporate entity. Therefore, none of these uh, illegal taxations and stuff like that apply to us because we are living, breathing human beings. And these laws are written for dead people. And this is fucking, this is sea law, okay? This is what they try to apply to you. When you go into court, the burden is actually on the court. They say that because they owe the money. <laughs> and... <clears throat> What they're doing is they're transferring what they owe to you because you're a, a corporate entity to them. But when you acknowledge them and tell them what it really is, because 1871, before they made that law and made the United States into a corporation, um, that, that, uh, that uh, is illegal. And that people in Congress should have been removed from Congress because it violates the Constitution in every kind of way, the original one. This guy's an attorney, and I don't know what they teach you in Harvard or anything, but all this stuff is play stuff. I mean, yes, you can physically force people to bend to your will, and that's what the law has become. The law was supposed to be uh, to bring people to justice when injustice were done, and not to use it against civilians and taxations, okay? 
I believe you should ta- things goods should be taxed because they're coming from different areas. But your working wages, not only is it unconstitutional, it's immoral, and it's it's not natural. That's why you don't feel well when you go to work. You're like, I don't got to pay tax. You people know this, okay? It is not the government's fault, which in, in this case, let's just be frank, Washington, D.C. is a foreign country invading a sovereign country. We are sovereign. They are not part of America, dude. The you know, Federal Reserve is not part of the United States government, okay? These people have grifted. It's the greatest grift of all. And I, they're geniuses, I tell you. That being said, we know all this, but the fact in the rea- this is the fact of the matter. This is the reality of it. We live in this matrix, the system, whatever you want to call it. You have to apply by these rules. Hence, when Jesus says, in Rome, do as the Romans do, meaning that you have to pay taxes. And that even the Romans put the word Christian out there. So really, they were followers of Christ. But they, the Romans came up with Christians so they can tax them. You see how this worked? This has been going on for a long time. These little kids that are doing all this business are going to cause their parents to lose everything. And they're going to get their parents in jail. You mark my words and see. By next year, all these assholes that told you to sell, sell all these cards. And you didn't do what this dude's telling you. And what I'm trying to tell you is to put at least get an escrow. At least get an escrow, and then all of the sales take 20. I actually take 30 percent and put it aside and, and do that. Okay, I just started doing this this year differently than I've been doing it. I pay taxes before, but it was not like this. I don't didn't sell a lot of high end things. Occasionally, I throw something on the internet, but I told you we we're gonna do an eBay thing. And a matter of fact, I'm even gonna have a contest. So we can name the store, and then we're going to use some of the profit to buy stuff for the channel, like hobby boxes, and I'll give the shit out to you guys. You know what I mean? We'll do cool shit. But you have to be aware there are consequences for your actions, okay? I don't agree with these laws. I didn't vote for these laws. But you, the major majority of the sheep, you ask them, say, you got to pay taxes. You have to pay taxes, really. That's enthralled in their thinking because this dude's an attorney. He's very clever with his words, but he's telling the truth. This is what's up, you know, and that's why I wanted to do a little interview. Uh, well, not interview, but do a, a, a <clears throat> response on this because I've been talking about this. Yes, this shit's fake and scripted and rigged, baseball, football, everything. I'll tell you how bad, how rigged baseball is. I am an amateur baseball player. I played minor, little minor league and shit all, when I was a little kid in high school and stuff. <clears throat> no coach would tell their their player to hit the ball anywhere besides throwing a bunt down when they do a shift. Okay, the shift is perfect for a bunt. You will out you will outrun them nine out of ten times. You will get on first base. Okay. It'll look like Cabrera. <laughs> the guy will just let you run on first base to get your 3,000 hit. The shit's rigged and scripted. That being said, people collect this stuff. People will fucking get a bunch of stuff, and they're like, well, I, I'd rather just have this one, and I'll sell this, this, and this, and get this one over here. That's kind of cool. Because a lot, a lot of the stuff back here, um, you know, a lot of the cards are collectibles because if you look about what happened, in 1952, Topps came along and said, we're going to make this baseball set. Prior to that, it was Bowman. And it was cool. They had black back uh, cards, red back cards. Their idea of a short print. There was a hell, a hell, a hell of a draft in 52. Besides Mickey Mantles, you have Eddie Matthews, arguably one of the greatest third basemen uh, in the history of baseball that played for the Braves. And uh, he won himself some shit, too, you know, and Hall of Famer. You have Jim Henson. He's the catcher for the Cleveland Indians, and they were kicking ass, and he's a good player, and he's in Hall of Fame. Mickey Mantle, of course, the main card. But besides that, you have uh, sleepers in there, like uh, fucking uh, Reggie. Oh, what the hell? Mm. I mean, I can't think straight. 
I kicked all these older players. Oh, Jack, Jackie Robinson, okay? Because he's in the 54. So I'm thinking Jackie Robinson might be in 52 also. I haven't really looked it up. I know he's in the 48, and that's his rookie season considered Bowman. And that's about $3,000. Um, but the fact of the matter is the people that are selling the shit to you want to do cash transactions. They think they're going to get away with this. And then they're going to put the money in the bank, enough money in the bank to trigger it. And then people are going to be like, where'd you get the money? This is mafia laundering shit. These people got from the stock market and they're clever. And I'm telling you, you're dealing with some fucking very intelligent people. That Jeff Wilson may not be able to take care of his cards or know how to handle things correctly. He is getting better. I'll give you credit on that. But he is good at with math and, and business and how to fucking uh, make things look like they're not, okay? He is the, one of the best actors I've ever seen in the history of cinematography. I watch the show as I'm watching a series, okay? Because it's grift, grift, grift. He has no chips in the game. And, dude, if they, he, he right there has so many videos incriminating himself on <laughs> uh, where in the hell were you getting this money during a pandemic and how come, where's the tax money on any of this? You know? I have a right to say whatever I want to say. And, uh, you know, anybody want to say something about it, take me to court. I'll get disclosure and I'll expose your ass really bad. I'll, you'll, I'll know everything that you're involved in. So... What I'm saying is, you're, there's so many channels popping up about this shit. And I ain't going to sit here and get arguments with people like I did before. I'm taking my man, uh, uh, vaccinated Faso, as uh, advice on that. Just drop it, you know. But these, these people now are, are really, they're people that got a big collection. And they don't know how to sell it. And like, well, okay, I can put it on eBay they have no idea they got to pay any taxes. There's like a 20%, 15% fee to sell on eBay. If you get a store, it may be different. You still got to have an ID number for yourself. You have to get a hold of the state attorney or whoever does business with you on that and get a prop, get things proper and have a different bank account, you know, maybe Chase or something like that, which I don't work for none of these fucking people. But I always get flyers in the mail for like 250 bucks if you just open up an account Maybe you get a flyer like that, go open up a, that account, and strictly uh, get a credit card from them if you can, and use your credit card to buy the stuff just for that shit that you're doing, and then any monies that you make, you put it in there, and then you have a receipt from that, everything you sell on eBay, I like eBay because you just got a list of all the shit you sold and how much you sold it for, and all that other shit, you know, but their fees are off because when you cancel something or somebody cancels something, I never cancel unless they ask me to. But if somebody cancels it, it's still registered as it's sold. So therefore, you have to wait till that gets sorted out. Because the IRS is just going to look at how much the eBay said that you made. If it said that you made $10,000, well, 30% of that is three fucking G, you know. And uh, you, do you see how this game works? So these guys doing hundred thousand dollar deals, they're on thirty thousand dollars on a low. You know what I mean? Just on a low, <laughs> and then you know every fucking warehouse. Uh, ten, this is why you won't sit know what's going on with these big auctions, these private auctions. They're doing multi million dollar shit. They're going on eBay and buying legit fucking Babe Ruths and shelf, stuff like that because they're so rare <laughs> for five thousand, four thousand, whatever. Even if you drop 20 G on one of them cards, they're going to flip it for fucking 50 G. It's a Babe Ruth. Arguably the greatest player ever. But, um, arguably. You know, the fact of the matter is this. This dude's right. I, I'm trying to help you guys. Like I said, I don't even have my channel monetized. Because I don't want to have anybody say, oh, you're just doing this for money. Because, no, I don't even promote my store. Which I'm going to bring you guys in on this. We're going to do this together. I'm going to show you how to set up a store. Uh, you, I got a laptop now. And um, <clears throat> I have a little store that I have. It's not a store. I don't even. I, I just put shit on eBay. And I got a. You know. They said. Hey. You could sell fucking $30,000 of stuff or whatever. And I'm like. Alright. Alright. I don't even sell that much. You know. I buy a lot of stuff. Because I'm investing for the future. And also. I know how this game works. You know. I only made one mistake, and I made money off these cards, but 
I would have definitely had a good little chunk of change coming my way with the Austin Matthews. I told everybody he's going to, he's a Mario Lemieux. He's going to break records. And Connor McDavid is going to be there with him too. And those cards will be worth fucking shit. Tons of money in the future. Don't care how rigged and scripted this stuff is. People will always buy autographs. They're always interested in celebrities and stuff. Plus, you know, it is it is pretty cool uh, products. You know, I always get the rare stuff. I try, you know. I'll just save my money until I see something I want, you know. And then I think that I'll be able to make money on it in the future. But I'm putting tax in my mind. Like this guy I was talking to, I was trying to tell everybody. Um, Look, dude, don't listen to this guy. You're going to have to take 20% off for eBay. You're going to have to pay uh, thirty about 30% to the federal government on every transaction. You know, that's going to happen. And you have to buy supplies. You got to buy envelopes for like five bucks. You know, get ten of them or whatever. You got to buy a couple rolls of tape. That's like fucking seven bucks. This ain't, this ain't 1980. I mean, you can go to Dollar Tree and buy that garbage shit. But I'm going to buy proper stuff when I open a tape. I want to tape it. I don't want to sit there and get the shit rip apart like it's confetti, you know? So, I buy proper stuff. And I and I send the shit out properly and I give extra cards because what the fuck? Who cares? They're, they're like, they, they like to collect stuff. That's awesome. I have friends of mine live in New England and they go and know Tom Brady and they're talking to him and shit. I got autograph of, I got like five of these things. You know what I mean? I didn't pay nothing for it. So if I sold this, say if I sold this for $1,000 or whatever, I'll get it authenticated. It's straight as hell. Straight, straight, straight. You could put this auto up against any auto he has. I got five, five or six of these cars like that. <clears throat> yeah, because these dudes go to college together, my friends. They're you know, around his age, or some of them are younger. I just turned 50. I got a couple buddies of mine I went to college with Tom, and was they're New England people. You know, I got friends of mine I went to college with uh, you know, in uh, in, in California around where uh, Trot was, and they know him. Like they don't hang out and do buddy times, but. They see him go practice all the time. He signed a card for him. I got a Mike Trout auto. A couple of them. Two of them. Pretty cool. Now, how the hell would you... Oh, see, he even went and sent this to get certified. Anyway, I'm sending it to PSA. I'm sending all this stuff to PSA. That's the only people that make money. That can't make any money. Now, well, what, you know, because I can't write that off and say, well, I paid, you know, how much to pay for the card? Nothing. It was a gift. Okay, how much you sell for? A thousand? Okay, well, you owe us uh, fucking 500 bucks. You know, half your money, almost. 430, 430, you know, $30 or whatever. You know, this is what this guy's telling you. This is all going to come back on all use. And I called this shit three years ago. I have over 600 videos. And I guarantee you I have at least 10 videos of me calling these people out saying, you're going to get in trouble. What the hell is going on? I was more worried about someone fucking mugging them, <laughs> hurting them. I even told Jeff, I'm like, dude, you need security, bro. You can't walk into Miami, Florida <laughs> with $50,000 in a parking lot. And there were people just getting jacked for a Coca-Cola not too long ago down there. They literally walk up to people and pull them out of their car and drive off with it. They're always doing nothing. So that's the kind of, Miami ain't no shit. That's a serious city, man. It is beautiful. The food's there. The, most of the people are nice. I speak a little Spanish, not much. Enough to just to get me, uh, you know, and I'm good at listening. I know I'm talking a lot, but I just, I'm worried for you folks, you know. I want you to sell your stuff. I want you to make money. I want to learn from you and you learn from me. I also want to do another channel where we do Bible study because a lot of people have been asking me about that. And I, ha I do read. Yes, I do. My fault is I use profanity. Um, and you know, I know how to articulate my thoughts very clearly and be straight to the point, but <clears throat> you know, do, when I do Bible times, I'm very serious about how I do it. That's our time. God and his learning. I want to learn, you know, so, uh, I'm not a vulgar person or anything like that. And I really am self, use self, the self-discipline when I'm, when I'm doing Bible times, I enjoy that. And I'm not just saying that because I don't want people to like me. I don't care if you do or not, but I'm telling you the truth on that. I uh, tell the truth on whatever I'm saying, everything I'm saying. But my time with God, I, I take it very seriously. And this is why I, I'm worried because I can just see this shit happening. It is going to happen. 
You're going to be watching these big channels. And, uh, you know, next day, somebody's going to come on there and say, uh, such and such got arrested. It'll spread like a wildfire. Okay? A wildfire through you. You think that fucking Pokemon thing was bad? Dude, within an hour, there'll be a million and a half people that know that there was people that somebody got arrested. And, you know, and, they're, and these guys are telling... It is so obvious how they're grifting you. Okay, let's say, for instance, I have... I got this graded by GMA, okay? Let's say I have about 20 of those, okay? And this is about a $250 card at the time. I had a price on it. I looked it up. So, <clears throat> it's worth more now, less now, I don't know. But let's say this is a PSA 10, and I don't want to hear people say, oh, GMA is garbage, because I literally sent my my Patrick Mahomes rated rookie hollow uh, prism card into uh, GMA. They gave it a nine. Okay, I have it on video and everything. I cracked it out of this case. I, I cracked it. I cracked it out of the case, and I sent it in a PSA, knowing I was going to get a nine on it, and it came back a nine. You know, uh, and the same with this card. It, this card will come back a ten. They're they're very good. At, they're they're accurate. They may be a point off, but the the shit's garbage. This is an old thing. I just wanted something to. Uh, me and Joshua sent cards in, and he he wanted to have he had a couple cards that weren't really high end or nothing, and it wasn't worth paying PSA to do it. You know what I mean? So anyway, <clears throat> let's say I got ten of these cards, and I'm like, oh man, you got to go out there and get these cards, and that's the fucking shit they're doing. And they're like, you know, you don't always have to get a ten. You can go after nines because they got out of ten cards, they got fucking seven nines and three tens maybe or. or even an 8 and two tens, or even, you know, different grades, maybe even one ten. The one ten, they're going to put a $1,500 marker on it and then tell you some pop report. In that pop report, you change, go check it in 10, 10 minutes, and there'll be another fucking 500 Zion Silver Wave Prisms. Actually, that is the least graded card out of all that. The, the Mosaic, is that's one of the least graded cards. That, in my opinion, will be the most expensive. But there's other ones that are cooler and shit. It'll be up there in price. This guy's probably going to go to a different team, and I'm thinking he's going to go to the Lakers or some team like that, or even go to New York with uh, Barrett because those two playing together would be pretty badass. Who knows? It's all rigged and scripted, but he that dude's a monster. So um, you're selling stuff. You're listening to these channels, and they say, hey, I made $130 in four days. Did you? How, okay, that's after taxes? Oh, no, no, I don't pay no taxes. Oh, you're telling these people to do that, and you're not going to fucking tell them, hey, no, I made $130, but I paid 20% to, to e eBay or, or wherever, uh, and I have to pay 30% uh, on taxes. And then they're like, how do you do business? You shouldn't sell cards. You're telling me, as, as a, a law-abiding citizen, that I should be going out there making all kinds of fucking money and not reporting to the IRS, and then possibly by doing that, I would be arrested for tax evasion. You could take that chance, but I'm not going to take that chance. But don't tell me I don't know how to sell cards because I'm doing it legally, and I'm telling my fucking people how to do it legally. So when you dicks get arrested, well, because there's no way you're going to explain <laughs> how in the hell you got all this money. It's got to go somewhere. And when they take you to court, they're going to get disclosure, and they're going to find out who is sponsoring you and how you're getting all this money, and it's going to be out everywhere. So listen to them, fellas. Laugh now. Cry later. I promise you, you won't know what hit you. I'm going to tell you one story real quickly. This happened to my grandfather. My grandfather had a luncheonette in Philadelphia. You ever seen the movie Rocky? Where a dude is hitting the, the, the meat. We lived right down the street from there. They did on Mifflin Street. And my uncle was shady. And he got a, my grandfather a shady tax guy. And my grandfather didn't know the guy was a shady tax guy. So anyway, years go by. This happened in like 1978. They did bad business with the IRS. To like, uh, let's see. But in 1997, 95, 96, something like that, 
I, I went up to Pennsylvania to get my grandfather to come live with us in Florida. I drove up there. I picked him up. I took care of him best I could the end of his life. He was a hell of a man. When he got to Florida, the IRS shut his account off. And you're talking, my grandpa's pension was probably $3,500 a month. And he got uh, Social Security money for working. You know, he's retired. He's 70-something years old. He worked 42 years at Local 30. So I got on the phone with the IRS. They said, hey, you know, he owes us $8,000. If he wants to pay $200 a month, uh, you know, we'll unleash his money. He just has to agree to it on the phone, and then we'll send him papers or whatever. This is how they did business, you know? Because my grandpa played lottery every day, and he played his numbers like an old person, and he enjoyed it, you know? So he couldn't go to the store. I used to buy it for him, and... It was cool, you know. He said to the IRS, I will pay you 400 a month because, fuck it, I want to get done with it. You know what I mean? And he did. God bless him. Before he died, he uh, had the IRS paid off in like less than two years. 8G. Okay? So, let me tell you something. These people aren't fucking around, okay? They want your money and you're go they're going to get it. They just sent $33 billion to fucking Ukraine, dude. You, where's that money coming from? These fucking taxes on your cards and everything. Is it legal? We know it's not legal. No one's going to do nothing about it. Okay, there's too many sheep there. There's too many people that say yes, and there's too many rich people that came up in comfortable lifestyles, and they don't think that ever is going to change. Well, shit is. We're going to go back to listen to another thing he's saying, and then call him. I believe it's an LLC, maybe it's a corporation, but then, you know, there's limited liability, right? The whole point of having a, a company and business and articles is to see like what happens when things go wrong. That's the legal structure of why you would, you would want one of these things. So I don't know. I mean, how many of these 11 year old kids with their $200,000 know, cash plus cards really has, has thought, you know, have, have their parents done it? Like, I don't know, like, and these are young people, and many of them, this may be probably their first job out of, out of college, I don't think they know what they're doing in the tax side, and when I see Sasha T flip a card, it, the, nobody talks about taxes, like, I would think taxes yes. around April, or around, definitely around April, that, like, a lot of these content creators would go ahead and tell you how they're doing taxes, right, because it's interesting. Yeah. If Exactly. Apps that cost a fee every month. Fucking grifters. Wouldn't all these people need to figure out how to do their taxes? So shouldn't it, like a channel keep? I said this fucking years ago. Okay, 1978, not eight. I started collecting cards as I got into ten, teenagers years. I'm like, this is weird, man. And then I, now I know what the what's going on. It's just like the art world. They use sports cards to wash money. It's money laundering. It's complete racketeering, money laundering. Uh, a lot of these companies are probably going to get caught soon for it because uh, I don't think there is a a, a, a a statute of limitation on mob racketeering. Um, so I don't know. That's what it boils down to. And it, when even I was a little kid, I used to watch these dudes in the card shops to grift people out of shit tons of expensive stuff or they would sell some expensive shit and it would be all fucking cash, no receipt, nothing. So them how to do like basic taxes but i don't see any of these channels pop up and i don't see any of these bloggers talk about it they're they never going to talk about it ever in their life, what they all right well all right this song is a video has been long because i'm talking to you guys as friends but the fact of the matter is go check this dude out he's got good videos i like him he's cool um i mean i don't know him as a person or nothing i ain't getting no money from him or nothing like that but there's this thing so one of my friends came over, so I have to go. But I appreciate everybody watching. And we'll do more videos. We're going to do some fun videos. I got Coach Script. <clears throat> He's going to get on the phone. He hasn't seen the Caprero hit. So I'm going to have him do a breakdown. He's been gator fishing. So uh, 
the old Gator. They do the Gators in Louisiana. So Coach Grip said hi to everybody, and uh, we're gonna do more with him, like I said, and because uh, everybody seems to like him, and I'm glad that you do. But uh, the, and also go check out uh, Vaccinated Faso, and um, he's got good work. And then, you know, we have to learn from everybody. That's what I like about YouTube. You can just learn from people, listen to their stuff, and disagree with it, or what have you. But when you got a guy that's a millionaire coming on your coming on doing his YouTube channel, you should listen to him or her, anyone, anybody that's got that kind of wealth, because they're going to tell you how they did it, and they're going to tell you the right way to do shit and, and not get in trouble. And that's what we're doing here, man. We we're trying to have fun like this. And uh, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Put this like this. I almost turned the thing off. See, I learned too. But, you know, we got a nice collection going on. And I'll, I was thinking maybe later I'll do a video of me opening up these 1996. I have a bunch of basketball cards that from, I've had for a while. Uh, they're 97, 98. So we might be able to get a Tim Duncan in there, Tracy McGrady, also Kobe Bryant. And there's special refractor cards in there. So if there's Jordans in there, that'd be sweet. So we'll do something like that later. And I appreciate everybody watching. And I don't want you to get in trouble. So, good, you know, we all know that shit's wrong. I already went off on it on Tandrum. So you know my feelings about it. And if I'm fucking doing it, everybody else should do it. I'm paying my taxes. You should pay your taxes too. It's not fair to everybody else. And I'll just leave it at that. Thank you for watching.